Global leaders of the travel and tourism community, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It is truly my immense honor and pleasure to be with you today for GTEF 2020. And I thank sincerely GTEF, Panziho, and the Macau SAR government for this honor of being with you, albeit this year on the virtual stage. As we know, the theme of GTEF 2020 is solidarity and innovation, reshaping tourism in the new global economy. How blessed we are to have with us today, joining us from her home base in Hong Kong, Sonia Cheng, the CEO of Rosewood Hotel Group, a perfect example of brave, focused and determined leadership perfectly placed to help global community rebuild our sector with greater strength, inclusivity, opportunity, and sustainability. Sonia leads her team that spearheads the group's regional and international expansion. In addition to being a third generation of leadership in Rosewood, Sonia is a newly appointed member of the Hong Kong Tourism Board, a critical role player in regional tourism growth and development. Sonia, a very warm welcome, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Anita. COVID-19, Sonia, has profoundly impacted the guest experience, visibly and invisibly. How has Rosewood Hotel Group's growth strategy changed in this year because of the challenges of 2020? Thank you, Anita. Um, indeed, uh, 2020 has been a very challenging year for the hospitality industry. Uh, like all of our uh, uh, industry uh, peers, uh, it has been a challenging time for, for us as well. Um, however, uh, uh, thankfully this year, uh, we our, our growth strategy and, and, and our expansion plans remain very steady. Um, in fact, we have about 32 uh, projects that are signed in the pipeline. Um, this year alone, uh, we've signed uh, projects uh, in uh, Spain, in Madrid, uh, Amsterdam, uh, as well as Porto Gevel in Italy, uh, as well as uh, Shanghai, uh, and another New World project uh, in Vietnam, Phu Quoc. So it has been actually quite exciting for the, for the company, um, and our growth has been strong. Um, uh, despite the challenging times. Uh, and during this time, uh, we're very much focusing on China. Um, as you can see this year, um, uh, with, with the pandemic, uh, China has been uh, recovering very quickly. Um, and it, it, it actually uh, showed the potential and tremendous potential in China uh, with the domestic consumption being very strong. Um, so in terms of our growth, we are going to uh, focus on growing in China in key uh, strategic markets as well as resorts, uh, resort as well. Um, and during this time, uh, in addition to uh, growing hotel, uh, uh, our hotel pipeline, we're also innovating. Um, so this year, we've launched our new private club concept, Carla & Co., which will be debuting in uh, January uh, 2021. So that's an exciting new concept uh, that we are uh, rolling out. Um, and and it's, it's, uh, creating, uh, it's about creating community. And during this pandemic, I think um, people are, uh, it's more important than ever that people want to connect uh, and, uh, uh, with their, uh, with their uh, uh, peers and the network and the community as well. It's so, I must say, exciting to hear you say that because one of the greatest challenges of people being kept apart this year is a lack of momentum and a lack of inspiration. So to hear all you are doing in terms of your global expansion and focusing on China is magnificent because it really does provide that hope. To that point, China has been one of the leading areas of the world in terms of being able to move forward from the pandemic and get some tourism momentum back. What do you see as central to strategy for China as well as the greater Bay Area in terms of being able to unlock the opportunity while the rest of the world is still trying to figure out how to move forward? So China has been a very important pillar uh, for our company and our growth strategy. As you can see throughout the pandemic, China has recovered very quickly, uh, probably faster than expected. In fact, all of, uh, all of our properties in China uh, have uh, uh, has performance that uh, had performance that is uh, exceeded our expectation and beat our budget that was set pre-COVID this year and uh, beat the performance of last year. Uh, 
Um, and this is due to really the travel bubble uh, that has been created in China. Um, and then what we've discovered as well is that the opportunity of um, resort locations in China. And so because of the pandemic, when people cannot travel outside of China, uh, a lot of the, uh, the consumers are discovering um, uh, lots of different destinations within China. And the power of the domestic consumption has been huge. Um, and so this is this is this is why uh, it's striving us to uh, focus our strategy and our uh, and our growth uh, um, a strategy for our brands in China. And this year, um, in addition to the Rosa Hotels, we have opened two additional new hotels in China. Our cost brand, one in Qinyuan and one in Shenyang. And uh, again, uh, the Qinyuan property, for example, which is a cost brand, um, has surpassed our expectation. It's a it's a, a hot spring resort location in the Guangdong province. Um, and uh, and again, given uh, the the potential, the domestic consumption of people wanting to travel to different leisure locations, it has actually outperformed our expectation has been doing really well. Um, so we're going to uh, continue that trajectory uh, and, and continue to develop China. And we, we believe that uh, the potential of the Greater Bay Area and the uh, as a potential between Greater Bay Area and Hong Kong are significant as well. So, as you mentioned, I, I, I'm grateful to, uh, to have joined the um, Tourism Board of Hong Kong. Uh, and I hope that you know I'll be able to give some advice and expertise to establish uh, Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area to be a world-class destination. I really see there's an immense potential uh, to uh, leverage um, uh, the um, uh, the consumption behavior in China, the traveling behavior in China, and bring it to Hong Kong. That's fantastic, especially if we look at the theme this year of solidarity and innovation. We've always been talking about the importance of domestic tourism, but growth of tourism was happening so quickly, it became a second priority. This year, it has become the absolute priority, which is a very good thing for overall tourism growth once we move through this. Sonia, one term I keep hearing people say is they can't wait to go back to normal. And I find that quite annoying because there's no going back and there's certainly no normal. We've seen, especially in hospitality, having to adjust to, for instance, protocols. Within the Rosewood Hotel Group, what are you finding are permanent changes that are having to take place as we rebuild the traveler experience through your group? I think uh, uh, going forward, and health and safety continues to be important, and, and all of our hotels within our group are have uh, the highest standard of protocol to ensure uh, strictest measure on hygiene protocols, et cetera. I think the other, uh, the other area that will sustain going forward is wellness. So I think post-pandemic, people are uh, realized uh, 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 they need to take care of themselves. They focus a lot more on self-care, uh, a lot more on well-being. So I think I think that um, uh, wellness will be a key uh, change uh, and a key focus for a lot of uh, consumers going forward. And that's also why uh, we've launched our new uh, wellness brand, Asaya, uh, which we have a flagship over here in Hong Kong and it's doing really well. Um, and, 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 and it, uh, it actually... Uh, shows why wellness is actually important going forward. And I think that is going to be here to change. Another aspect that I think I think will sustain will be um, post-pandemic, people are looking for companies that have a strong purpose. So, um, you know, a purpose-driven company uh, that is uh, delivering experience that has meaning, uh, delivering experience that is uh, changing people's life or impacting people's life uh, will become more and more important. So it's not just a side pillar anymore, but it becomes a strong, uh, um, uh, uh, strong value uh, that is that will drive the business for companies going forward. It is, it's a joy speaking to you, Sonia, because you have an innate understanding of human need, especially in times of challenge. And you've responded to that within your group, which is incredible, but you've actually gone beyond that. And I was very touched when I heard about all you are doing with Rosewood Rays, because over and above the challenges of the business, you've also taken to heart the challenges of frontliners. Can you explain a little bit to us, please, about what you've done with Rosewood Rays and why I just think it is so special. 
So we initiated Rose of Rays earlier this year when the pandemic started. Um, and it really stems from the fundamental of hospitality business because it's all about people. Um, you know, the, the foundation of our business is relationship hospitality. You know, we are not where we are today without the people that are part of the team, uh, the, the people that work for us. So, so what, we, what we believe in is that, you know, during this crisis and the most challenging time, this is the time that we actually stand in solidarity with our people. So we launched Rose to help support our associates uh, within the company as well as our local community. Um, so during the time, um, you know, the most challenging time, we really, um, you, know, you know, reached out to our associates that are around the world that really need support and and uh, really suffering from uh, the crisis. Um, and we raise money within our company. And during this time of crisis, you really see that um, you have a really strong um, uh, uh, community that are, uh, that are willing to help each other. And that's really great to see during this pandemic. And more importantly, we have set up um, uh, uh, we have, we have, we have uh, donated hotel rooms uh, to medical workers. We have supplied meals as well to uh, 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 to medical workers as well. And all of these initiatives actually pull us together as a community and really uh, the, the notion of supporting uh, our community as well as uh, our associates become an important pillar uh, uh, for the company and a very meaningful initiative uh, for our company as well. So, so Rosa Rays really is is has been a personal passion uh, passion project of mine, and I believe that you know. Uh, as I said, going back to you know what what I realized uh, during this pandemic is that during the, uh, you know it made us realize that having a purpose and a meaning when we develop a company and we create a company is more important than ever after this pandemic. That's quite a um, it's quite a lovely intense way of absorbing what is ultimately the legacy of 2020 in many ways, because in addition to this being an economic crisis and a travel and tourism crisis. First and foremost, it's a humanitarian healthcare crisis, which affects us all. For that reason, my final question to you, Sonia, if you look back at this year, why do you think you've become a better leader because of the challenges of 2020? Why do I think I'm going to become a better leader? Um, I think that the, the whole pandemic uh, really forced us to react very quickly, uh, forced us to think on our feet, um, and really uh, uh, help us innovate uh, on the spot. Uh, to you know, crisis manage and to uh, ensure stability uh, for our people, uh, the people who work for us, work for the company, as well as uh, for our guests as well. So I would say it's it's been a challenging time, but you know the, the silver lining is that we all learn a lot um, uh, throughout this uh, pandemic and throughout this crisis. And I think the lesson learned um, will. Uh, be very memorable for all of us and, and be very powerful as we develop, uh, uh, you know, our business in the future. And that is the perfect way to close this interview, because if there is any sign that the future of our industry is in good hands, it is the opportunity to speak to you and to hear your point of view on the future of our industry and admittedly, the future of the global community. Sonia, my sincere thanks. I have loved having this time with you and I'm really grateful for all you have shared and all you are doing for the tourism world. Thank you. Thank you, Anita, for having me. And as always, I close with my enduring love and thanks to the GTEF team, to Pansy Ho, and to all watching. Thank you for the honor of this time. Thank you for the great joy of being with you all this year, even though it is virtually. Everyone, stay safe, stay strong, stay hopeful. And we'll see you at GTEF 2021.